refreshing data sets in power bi hi i am m asif hussain from nohav academy what are we going to learn in this video we are going to see how many different types of refreshes data refreshes we have in power bi what are they how to use them in power bi desktop so if i would like to talk about a refresh what exactly is the word refresh refresh is nothing but whenever we are doing some work let us consider you are doing a work in a hospital you are doing a work in a supermarket you are doing a work in a uh, in a in your business so you need to refresh yourself in order to the better performance in your work culture so in the same way we have a refresh option in the data set as well so what is this refresh option in data set so the refresh option in data set is nothing but whenever you are doing the transformation data modeling part or creating data visualization and so on there might be the possibilities that the data in the back end might be updated or upgraded a new data might have come up or some changes or modifications might have happened in the data all right so that you might be aware of or you might not be aware of that will purely depends upon the client side that will happen it so now you need to do a refresh so for example if we are searching something in google chrome okay when we are not getting it what we do we refresh the page it means that the page will be reloaded so that it starts again from you know in a fresh and we get it in a, as speed as possible so in the same way we have a data refresh option here so there are three types of data refreshes in power bi what are those types of data refreshes here i am going to show it to you so we have three types of refreshes one is we have manual refresh number two we have scheduled refresh number three we have incremental refresh so for this incremental refresh we need only premium per capacity license and for scheduled refresh this will happen it in a power bi service where you can have a premium or pro license for this one so what is a manual refresh so let me show it to you so in this power bi desktop i have loaded one data and i have data which is in a import mode okay which is in a import mode so what's happening here in this particular data for example if i am using some dax functions and if i am uh, doing some data modeling part okay so i can manually refresh the data so how can i refresh we can see the refresh option here okay so get the latest data by refreshing all the visuals in this report so in this power view whenever we are uh, uh, creating some visuals okay if i want to refresh it yeah i can go with the manual refresh option here that is first thing now when i talk about the schedule refresh what is meant by schedule refresh if many of you uh, if you are aware of the manufacturing industries or if you are aware of the pharmaceutical industries okay so what happens is that in a conveyor belt where the uh, process of manufacturing or production is going on okay so a machine or a setup has been done in such a way that okay so every update of the data or every report how many vehicles have come out in this hour from a conveyor belt or so on so they have a time setup okay they have scheduled a time okay and they have scheduled the report also so how the report will come up okay so in this particular time in this particular uh, date and in this particular hours and minutes okay so this is the data these many vehicles have come out these many so like that they have scheduled it in the same way we can schedule a time for refreshing the data as simple as such what we can do we can set up we can schedule a time in order to refresh the data which happens in power bi service okay so what is that if you see it here in power bi in a semantic model if we come after we create a data gateway connection so we can configure a schedule refresh so schedule refresh you can configure it in two ways 
either you can configure the schedule refresh on daily basis or you can configure the schedule refresh on a weekly basis okay so in a weekly basis if i talk about you can you can set up the days when and where on which day which time you would like to do the schedule refresh including the time so if you see here starting from sunday till saturday every day is selected to do the schedule refresh and the time you can set it up by default power bi will give 1 am you set it off your choice so how many times i can do that that i'll show it to you 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 up to 8 times you can create a schedule refresh why only 8 times because for a pro user a schedule refresh will be a accessible only for 8 times only for 8 times okay so now you can change the time if whatever the time you want you can change it it is up to you okay so starting from sunday to saturday till 8 times you can schedule a time frame in order to refresh the data in a backend part so what happens though you do that though you don't do that every day at every times which you have set up okay so power bi in a back end part will be automatically creating a data refresh because you have scheduled the time and the day and the date all right so this is how a schedule refresh will work a schedule refresh should be most probably done after you do the gateway connection and we need to set up the time zone also whichever the time zone you want you have to select it depending upon the locality where you are staying all right so this is how a schedule refresh will work in power bi now if i talk to you about the next type of refresh which is incremental refresh so for incremental refresh we need premium per capacity now what is this incremental refresh for a manual refresh your whole visualizations and all will get refreshed right for a scheduled refresh the whole data will be for example if you have 7 years or 10 years of data all 10 years of data will be refreshed but incremental refresh is something different though you have 7 years or 10 years of data whatever the data which is updated recently for example last 30 days or last one month of data got updated in the back end part so that specific uh, newly updated data plus the old uh, data that we have which is of 7 years of 10 years both will be done as a incremental refresh in power bi so before directly doing the incremental refresh there are some conditions what is the conditions we need to create some parameters then we should work on the incremental refresh so what are the parameters how should we do that parameters i am going to show it to you so in order to set up the parameters we need to come to the transform data section and we need to open up our power query as simple as such if i want to talk about and always remember whenever we want to do a incremental refresh one column with the date related information should be there for sure so as we can see that we have order date here okay there are two dates order date and shipment date so let me choose the order date column here so in this order date column what i am doing it here if you see let me do some filtering part okay so what is the first date that we have which is 6 1 2016 6th 2016 if i do it in a descending order i get from a on a last value or last date that i have that i'll get it so 30 12 2019 30th december 2019 that i am having it here okay so it's still loading it because we have lot more uh, data in it okay so if you see 
30 12 2019 okay so if we uh, let me show you this one we have all the dates starting from 1st december to 30th december 2019 okay now the point coming up here is that i have to create an incremental refresh so what i will do uh, rather than selecting my whole data from 2016 to 2019 let me choose the dates only from 1st december 2019 to 30th december 2019 which is our last date that we have it here so now what i'm going to do first we need to set up the parameter how should we do that and here we have manage parameters we need to click on new parameters we do not have any parameters existing we need to create on new parameters i'll click on new parameters here and in this new parameter let me give the parameter name as start date I'll give it here as start date okay so now start date I'll choose it as a date data type okay now the current value what I will give I will give 01 12 2019 okay first December 2019 this is my start date I'll click on okay so what I will do again I'll create another parameter new parameter now i will choose it as my end date what i'm going to do i'm going to choose it as my end date so now i am writing the same thing nothing i'm just doing with the end date end date okay so i'm choosing it here as a date data type and the value i'll give it as 30 12 2019 all right so now i am clicking on okay so what happened i have created two parameters first parameter is for my start date and the second parameter is for my end date so now coming to the point i'll come here to my query i'll select it here and i have date filters all right we have date filters in that i'll come to custom filter and in this custom filter let me assign you know the time frame the date frame for this particular rows so what i'm going to do I am just selecting my parameter here and the start date which is the parameter and let me choose another parameter which is my end date okay so now I will choose this one as is after or equal to and this one I'll choose it before or equal to so after my start date before my end date so that is what I want to refresh it incremental refresh that is only the specific time frame last 30 days uh, uh, data i want to refresh it in the year of 2019 so that's where i have selected it now what i'm going to do i'm going to click on ok so what happened i have created a parameter and i have assigned that parameter to the i mean i have filtered the rows based upon my parameters with the start date and end date okay so now if this is completed in power query editor i am clicking on close and apply and this is getting applicable in my power bi desktop all right so once we have created a parameter now we need to create that parameter incremental refresh in power bi desktop as simple as such so the changes that we have done in power query editor it got loaded up in our power bi desktop so as you can see near my table name okay we have these options there we have an option called incremental refresh so i will click on this incremental refresh and just we need to enable this one and we have to give the option that I need to create the schedule refresh for th last 30 days or last one month. You have an option and you need to click on apply. The reason that I'm not getting it here, I'm using a pro license. That's where it is not working it for me. As I told you previously, we need to have a premium license to do this incremental refresh. So all the process is same. Just when you come up here, we need to on this incremental refresh option. Then we need to set up for last 30 days or last one month or last one quarter or last one year, something like that and click on apply depending upon your requirement. So this is how an incremental refresh can be done. So if you are having a premium user, you can try it out without any hesitation it's up to you and whenever you are working in a company the company decides whether depending upon your role and depending upon your seniority the company decides to give you either a premium license or a pro license it purely depends upon the company's perspective so these are the three types of different refreshing uh, data set options we have in power bi manual refresh schedule refresh and incremental refresh thank you for choosing know how academy as your source for it knowledge 
we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning